camera. Get your Proverbs whatever up. Hello. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I lost a sweet tart. Hang on. You lost a sweet tart? Yeah, it went underneath the seat. All right, sweetheart. I said sweet tart, not sweet heart. <laughs> okay, but who are you? Oh, I'm me. You'll get used to that. <laughs> That's RJ. All right, so... We're going to start with in the chapel, and this week RJ's going to give you the Bible verse. All right, I got to get serious now. Okay, that means I have to act silly. Oh. Come on, I can't hold this face for long. Oh, okay. Proverbs 28 6. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. Okay, and pretty much we try to always walk in integrity. Um, today is Granny's birthday, March the 3rd, and, or, today is actually the 4th, so yesterday was Grandma's birthday, oh my gosh, but anyway, it's done in honor of her, um, her anniversary is March the 6th, so she, when she was alive, left RJ a time capsule and all of his descendants, uh, about how to have good integrity, mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of her thing, she liked that word, she, she thought it meant more than just being of good character. So um, she took it very seriously. But that is her Bible verse for today, kind of mm -hmm. in honor of her. So, all right. Moving on, in the barn stalls, what all has been going on? And this is RJ's section, it's kind of long. How many babies we got out there? Thing one, thing two, three, two, four, and four. I really I... screwed that up too. <laughs> I said four twice. I said thing one, thing two, thing four, thing four. Okay, so he can't count today, he's no. tired. We'll give him that one. All, All right. right. Let's see it. Here we go. Um, Hershey had a baby last week. I don't remember when. Um, Talk to the camera. Hi, camera. How are you today? Amber oh, and good Opal. For you. No. You're having a good day. That's good. Opal yeah, and I'm Amethyst. Tired. I'm really tired. Come on. Tell them about um, Opal and Amethyst. Those are Hershey's babies. Oh, okay. Um, she had twins, and what yeah. happened? All was well, it. right? Yeah, all was real swell. Um. She, her plugs were in her bag really, really good, so I had to have somebody hold her while I got them out. Um, she had milk at that time. Not a whole lot, though. Not a bunch, but she had milk. Uh, then after about a day or so, we decided we'd have to start bottle feeding because the babies were losing weight and they weren't getting enough to drink. So we gave Hershey a shot to make her make more milk, and we started bottle feeding the babies. Um, now, only one will take a bottle, though. Yeah, only one will take a bottle now. The other one kind of half. And he play, she plays with it, but not. Yeah, but my Hershey's been making more milk, and that one baby's been gaining weight. So this other baby, we've been bottle feeding it, and it's been gaining weight. So it's been doing all right. Then let's see here, baby girl had a baby, first black sheep of the family. Mm-hmm. So she's in the barn. We turned her out the other day. Um, then Patch had a baby the other morning. Came home from her open. What was yesterday morning, right? Yeah, 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. Saturday morning. She had one. Okay. Uh, came up from her open and there she was. Mom said, all you do is take care of your horse. 20 minutes later, there's a baby out here, Mom. I, got I had checked at 2.30, which we normally don't check, before, like 3, 3.30. I was an hour early, but I was staying awake to keep him awake. He had to drive from a friend's house home. He'd been up almost... 20 hours? Yeah, right? Yep, yeah, seven, so probably. Or six, yeah. So. I've been up 22 hours, 20 hours. And he worked for his sister that day. Mm -hmm. And so, plus we've done some running in town. Um, just a lot of stuff. So he, do not do that. Did not get in. There better not be two in there. <laughs> I'll beat you. Um. Anyway, so he just was tired, and I didn't want him driving, and so we always talk hmm. on the phone whenever I think he needs to be kept awake or is coming close, you know, to being too tired to drive. So I stayed awake. That I went out there at what? The coffee cup. <laughs> I know. I stayed awake, and uh, I kind of snoozed a little bit, but nothing. A lot. Well, at 2.30 is when I went in to lay down and snooze. So I thought I'd check the sheep first, be safe. Then when he came home, all he had to do was go put his horse out there and feed it. Um, but 
when he got home, he went and put his horse out there, came back and surprise! Say, you're a proud daddy. But, and then by then we both were too tired to really, we didn't go and make that second video until the next morning. Yeah, it was late in the morning, so it's okay. It is what it is. So, also you put out baby girl yesterday, right? Yep. So she's back out on pasture. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else? In the barn stalls. Mm -hmm. Durf. Durf cut his leg this week, didn't he? He scratched it. Uh huh. He's limping, isn't he? No. He only short day and he quit. Yeah. But he kind of scuffed up his leg, which was when we had a visitor. So, of course, it always happens when we have a visitor. Talk to the camera. Peekaboo the camera. Hi, camera. How are you doing? No, no, You're no. doing great. That's Come on. Awesome. You're shaking the camera. You're... I like the camera. I want to have a conversation with the camera. Let me have a conversation with the camera, okay? Okay, the can camera... we finish the podcast first, and then you can do whatever with the camera? But that's some fun, because the camera's not on. You turn I'll it off. I'll leave it on. Okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for in the barn stalls. Durf, he's got a cut. It was cleaned up, moved on, you know, right? All right, um, mending fences. You've been mending at your sister's house, building fence and that kind of stuff. But um, Mommy. quit. You do. I don't care. I'm out. Eat what's in your hand. Um, One at a time. So there hasn't been, it's been rainy and muddy. So yeah, there's a lot of things that need to be repaired, but pretty much I haven't gotten it done because of the um, rain. And I mean, we have one gate that sucks my boot off half the time when I try to go through there. There's so much rain. But anyway, all right. In the yarn farm, we have a day camp up where we're going to present to a school. We have teacher packs that I have to make. I have everything for them, but I don't have them made because somebody won't help me. Never. Yeah, right. He'll help me tonight. We've been working on all kinds of paperwork. That's the problem, is it's that time of year when paperwork is taking hold. They jipped me. They gave me half of one. Look at this, folks. A half. Half of a heart. It's a broken heart. I have a broken heart. I have a broken heart, Mom. Help me. Get off me. My heart's broken. You're a goof. It's Come broken. on. Come on. Let's get done. I'm dying of a thing. broken heart. Eat it. You don't eat your heart. You eat the broken ones. Anyway. A broken heart. Okay. Directly okay. Okay. Enough. Let's get on. Let's just move on. <laughs> um, so I've been down to the garden in the, we'll go in the fields because I have no idea where I'm at because he's carrying on like an idiot. Um, oh, the school presentations. Heart. Come on, son. Enough. But I feel proud of my broken heart. You want to get this done? <laughs> okay, so we've got the presentations coming up at the school. I've got the teacher packs that he hasn't helped me with. I've got um, lamb sheets that I have to get done every time we have a birth. I've got a sniveling little idiot here. It's okay, I have a full heart now. I'm happy. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so we have a lot of paperwork going on that has to get done. We've got presentations coming up that we have to get teachers packs done for. Um, plus, I've been working on all the online stuff from my workshops and tuning up everything. And anyway, uh, and I get where they're coming from on those, but I hate doing it. It's just, ugh. but anyway, he's over here sulking. All right, I know how to cheer him up. In the farmhouse. We made a trip to town, didn't we? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> then talk to the camera. Hi, camera. How are you doing today? We made a trip to town the other day, all right? Tell us about that trip. We got things like chips. But we got <laughs> these chips at buy to get three. Free 
That's five chips for the price of two. So it was like eight dollars, and they're like four twenty nine here. So <clears> that's eight sixty, and you get five bags. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's two dollars a bag or less. It's actually less, but what else did you get on your um? We got some pasta, which yeah, included we got spaghetti. macaroni, macaroni and spaghetti. We got. Kielbasa. Yeah, kielbasa. Um, we Elkshire got pineapples. Farm. I got five pineapples, folks. What about your cookies? I got cookies, too. Yep. I got chewy chips of whole cookies. And then we got ham. So pretty chips much we got everything Hoy. for lunch, ham. right? Oh, yeah, we got ham. You did not get chips ahoy ham. <sighs> I realize we're tired, but those two don't even go together. Chips ahoy ham. I'd wrap these ham around chips ahoy and eat it. <laughs> you would. <laughs> But he got his um, ham for his sandwiches. Everything kind of lunch related. You got pizza rolls, right? Mm -hmm. Anything he would grab was buy to get five free. Now, there were a couple of things that seemed like a good deal, but they really weren't, like the cereal, right? Mm -hmm. They were smaller boxes for $4. So, by weight, we used the big bags of Malto meal um, just because they're cheaper or whatever I find at Sam's. So, we can get two pounds for like five bucks. At Sam's, they have two big bags in them, and there's some that are four seventy eight or five seventy eight at Sam's, so, yeah. We, we find better deals elsewhere on our cereal. But, anyway, so he killed SpongeBob's house, five of them. No, there's still some I haven't finished cutting up yet. <laughs> I've only got successfully killed a few. Okay. I don't want that on my head. If you spill, I will hurt you. I you have can't. coconut on your head, Bob. We just got five coconuts, too. They didn't have five coconuts in the deal. I don't know what coconut milk tastes like. Like coconut? I don't like coconut. Uh-huh. Anyway. But I still want a coconut. All right. I haven't really been working on anything other than the web pages, the computer work. It's been raining. But I did, now I did um, get the warp done for the loom. To rewarp the loom. Um, I don't have it on yet. I need him to come help me hold it so I can roll it on before I um, put it all through there. But um, I am getting ready. I have it all, you know, the groups. But I just don't have it rolled on the bar so that I can and thread it through. Um, anything else? I missed oh. the <laughs> Don't you dare. I bounced it like off the rim. Mm-hmm. And it went bing, bing, and said bing, bing, bing. All right. Anything else? Um, Saturday night you went roping. How'd that go? Friday night. Oh, Friday night? Mm -hmm. Oh, Saturday night would have been last night. You didn't go anywhere last night. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, whatever night. How'd your roping go? <laughs> Terrible. That's not a very good... No, it wasn't. Talk to them. Tell them what happened. It was just downright terrible. The camera. Couldn't get anything done, really. The camera. I've been talking to the camera. No, you're talking to yourself. No, I'm not. I'm talking to this camera right here. This is my there direct you go. line of sight right there. Yeah, remember, he's blind in one eye. <laughs> so this eye just goes to one Okay, so why was your open terrible? I don't know. I really don't. Cattle were pretty good. I mean, everything was pretty good. Horses were decent. I mean... Just an off day. For you? or Same for, for everybody. I mean, I went with two other people and they didn't get anything done. I mean, one, one person never got out of that first round. Yeah. You have to catch to go to the next round. And I want to say they had six rounds in the first round and didn't get any of them. Caught. Caught. They caught like four and the healers missed. Or, I, mean, I had two get out of the first round out of seven. I mean, that wasn't very good. No. Nope. Uh, just wasn't very good roping, I guess, for us. But, but. Okay. Anything coming up we need to remind them about? Mm -hmm. The other stuff. I know. I don't know what stuff, but I'm sure there's something coming up. Well, next weekend we have a surprise in the works, right? We do. Can you tell me? You already know. And I'm not going to tell you with them listening. I know. Oh, here, I'll block them out. All right, now what is it? <laughs> Get your hand out. I'll block them out. You know it has ears too, right? <laughs> hey.
Hey, now can you tell me? There, I told you. Well, I couldn't hear it. Can you tell me again? <laughs> no. <laughs> loud you voice. already know. <laughs> So, anyway, um, I'm going to try and work on some seeds this week, and just, I've got to get this book work finished up. I've got to get taxes done. It's just a bad time. I don't know whoever thought to do taxes by April, in the middle of lambing season, was not a farmer. Just saying. I think no, it's probably a politician. There you go. All right. Anything else going on that they need to know about? Mm -hmm. If you want lamby cuteness, you can go to the video we posted yesterday. It was just a simple little, we were so tired thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, we're going to get off here. It's short, sweet, and we will see you next time. Right? Bye-bye. That's all, folks. <laughs>